What's up guys, this is Brand with Salty Nut Brewery and you are watching No Huntsville. <laughs> I'm in trouble, yeah. All right. All right, Joe, are you ready? Yes, ready. All right, this is Tom. Good job, Joe. And this is No Huntsville. We have a food uh, episode going on today. We have Earth and Stone Wood Fired Creations, uh, Tina and Stan from uh, that group, uh, expanding out their uh, food offerings now. Not only their pull behind wood fired oven, but they also now have a new food truck. And uh, we're here to talk about it today. Stan, Tina, thanks for coming in and talking with us. Thanks for having us. All right, let's get a background of anybody who doesn't know about, first of all, the, the wood-fired pull-behind oven that you guys have. And also, let's talk a little bit about your new food truck, which we have different food that you're going to be offering at different places here in town. Okay. We, we started about 14 months ago. We, we were looking for something to do that, that involved a little travel and food. Right. As we were playing and experimenting, we, we didn't want to be carny. We wanted to do something besides <laughs> barbecue, and, but we wanted food that we'd be proud of. Sure, yeah. So through our research, we found a, a guy in Atlanta at a, at a farmer's market that had one of these ovens. Drove over there a couple afternoons, checked out the food, talked to him, and decided that that would, that would be something that we could, we could get behind. Okay. You know, it, it lets us experiment. We can get some gourmet pizza out there when we're doing catering and, and, and smaller events. Right. But when we're up at Bonnaroo and, and looking at 200 people an hour, we, we can pop out pepperoni and cheese and, right. and, and crank them. So. And what we're talking about here is an actual brick oven that's on a trailer, <laughs> and you pull it up in a parking lot, you fire that thing up with wood, obviously, yeah, right? And you start making pizzas. Absolutely. And I've been to an event where you've, you've catered. It's brilliant. And he did it in the yeah. rain, by the way. It was raining at our event. They're still in the rain making the pizzas <laughs> in the oven and bringing them in, and it was... Like I said, gourmet pizza, very specialized pizza. So talk about some of the pizza that you guys make with this thing. We we do traditional pizzas when okay. when we go to bigger events and and meats like bacon, sausage, and and pepperoni. But we'll develop specialized pizzas. And in the last one, the one that, that you loved it, right. at the lunch was what we call the Latham, and, and it was inspired because we were working with the Latham Farmers Market um, off of Weatherly right. at the Methodist Church and. They had arranged a donation of a tractor trailer load of sweet potatoes yep. to the homeless and, and, and people in, in need up in northern Alabama. So we tried to figure out what to do with um, sweet potatoes on a pizza. And, and I'll tell you, that was a struggle because it just doesn't sound good. It doesn't. Right? Um, but we developed a pizza that we called the Latham. It's a white sauce pizza with sweet pota caramelized sweet potatoes, caramelized onions, and goat cheese that we get from a, a local goat farmer. Um, Humble Heart Farm. Humble Heart Farm. And it's amazing. So at, at this event, this that was the talk of uh, the whole really? thing. Now the other, I had the other pizza, great, but this was really what it was really yeah. a specialty of because I'd never seen it before, right? And it's and it seems perfect. We're in the South. <laughs> Sweet potato right. pizza makes sense. Well, to and me. It, it's a great seasonal pizza too. In the in the fall, it's uh -huh. our, one of our best sellers. So so you guys do a lot of catering, right? So you we cater do. events, weddings, and stuff like that. But you guys are also expanding out. And, and trying to be more regular for some of the customers that like you and want to get, get you know get the food on a regular basis. So right. you guys are kind of expanding out doing some of that. So talk about that. We a are bit. Um, on Thursday afternoons. We had um, last year we did um, pizzas at the Green Street Farmers Market downtown. Right. And if you haven't been to the Green Street uh, Market, it's 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 pretty cool. It's I mean, great market. It's right. Open air. Everybody can walk around. I think you can walk around with drinks and you stuff can. like it's, that. It's, too. it's in, in the, the entertainment. In entertainer, entertainment district. Which is great. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I, I was just going to say, and we were a very popular vendor there because everybody would get their pizza. They'd go home. We'd we'd you know pop out pizzas for you know six pizzas per family because we would sell wow. the 10, 10 inch individual individual pizzas and, and it gave them a variety and they loved it it was just a great and it, and it was entertaining to watch the, the pizzas cook you know we we would have we would have customers <laughs> right. when we were at our busiest times we would have them sitting there videoing us at, you know and we were it uh, was, it was I wild think, I discovered what vine was last year because yes. I, I, I was up there a couple times <laughs> and, and we learned that you know that's just a six second humiliation sometimes <laughs> but right. um but we have not been able to do that again this year because there's a zoning issue, okay. um, a law from back in 1963, way before food trucks were ever going to be in Huntsville, right. um, where you can't prepare, sell, and um, 
can't prepare, prepare and sell, and sell in, food, in a residential area. Yeah, in a resi- oh, okay. And that's okay. actually right. listed in a residential neighborhood. So what wow. we've done, okay. because our, our customers are, have been contacting us and, and contacting the market and saying, Where, where's the pizza? Where's our pizza? Right. That um, we have rented a lot across from um, below the radar down on, on Holmes Avenue. Oh, and, yeah. and a little space gonna, right there. Right. There's a couple of other food trucks that are set up in there as well. But okay. we're going to be there on Thursday afternoons from 4 <coughs> to 8. And we'll be able to service our customers from the Green Street Market. So. Nice. And I think we were talking a little bit earlier about um, just this, the influx of uh, um, the different food trucks that are not only nationwide but here in town. And speaking of that, so you guys just recently, I think a month ago, got a new food truck mm-hmm. to kind of expand some of the uh, offerings you're going to have. So let's talk about your food truck. We, we do a lot of work at the local tap rooms. So we bounce. We do too. We do. <laughs> <laughs> and we bounce back and forth between uh, Blue Pants, Straight Tail, and, and Yellow Hammer primarily. Nice. Blue Pants had a truck that they they owned and, and called the Blue Pantry that they used at their brewery to feed their patrons. Okay. <clears throat> they decided that they wanted to concentrate on beer making. And what? They, they, off, they <laughs> offered it for sale. And, and since we're there and... And we were doing a lot of high-end food. We, we thought it'd be a, a good next step. Okay. And so we purchased it. I'm primarily doing barbecue and I want to say high-end southern comfort foods. So smoked meatloaf, cheese grits. I'm, I'm getting 60 pounds of pork bellies in next week. I'm, I'm going to braise some, braise some pork bellies and, and, and do some food that I can put out the window in about 10 minutes. Right. Where at a brewery... That kind of weight's not a big deal. You're having a beer. You're there you're having a good time. Exactly. And, I, and I was at Straight to Ale, and I had the pulled pork sliders, and they were amazing. Thank they were you. really good. So, and it was perfect because they were there. You can walk around with them first, mm-hmm. and then and it, was, it didn't take very long to get. And you right. actually brought it into me, so that's right. really nice. Well, we try we try to do that for our customers. We we engage um, and and get to know people. I mean, that's yeah. that's the thing. About building it. relationships mm-hmm. <laughs> through food. It's right. very right. exactly. yeah. 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 exactly. So the free beer at the at the at the tap rooms helps. Right. So. Oh my God! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we know all about it. <laughs> what What would you recommend if somebody just comes up to your food truck and they have a hard time men- ordering off your menu? What What's your favorite off of your own menu? Off the food truck, I would say look at the special of the week because that's going to be something that I'm proud of and I'm highlighting. Nice. And probably if if not that, I would do the nachos. Our pork nachos. We we fry the chips <laughs> ourselves. Oh wow! And I'm I smoke the pork. I make the barbecue sauce. I've got a great... Now, I'll tell you what. We also... I don't have them all the time because because of the challenge of, of transporting, but I do some smoked wings. And I'll, I'll uh, smoke wings, and, and then I'll drop them in the fryer for three minutes when I'm at the at the tap rooms to kind of crisp them up. Mm-hmm. And, and I make a really good sauce. The, the sauce is just they fantastic. They are fantastic. Yeah. They're, they're fantastic. So if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, if you don't want to get dirty... Grab grab the grab a slider or, or some nachos if if you're okay licking your fingers go go for the wings. <laughs> and uh, I saw looking through your photos the, the breakfast pizza. Where can I go get a breakfast pizza? Well, where, where are you where are you guys at? Where I can get that? Well, we'll we'll have it on Thursdays that uh, across from below the radar when, okay. when, we, when we set up. And we're actually going to start doing some um, menus with our pizza oven where we call it breakfast for dinner at the at the breweries because we're we're thinking right. that that's a hit for everybody who yeah, doesn't love many breakfast times for the nights run. Right in the yeah, yeah. breakfast sometimes. I could have been so. out yesterday. <laughs> or this morning, wherever it was. <laughs> well, that's great, man. It's, it's really interesting. I love the whole food truck uh, industry here in town. It's been great. If you're going to these events, you're seeing the food trucks. And I think the cool part about it, it's it's fast food, but gourmet food. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's really just good food. So it's, it's kind of cool to see more of these things popping up. Yeah. And I hope they continue on. I hope everybody supports them. Go out. If you're at these events, support the local uh, uh, food trucks. And then, of course, call up these guys for any type of event that you guys have uh, going on. It's not only kind of neat to watch them make the pizzas, but the pizzas are great. So it's kind of a, a, a double bonus there. Thank you. And uh, it's just a just a really cool thing. And uh, I really appreciate you guys coming and talking to us. Thank That's you, Earth and Stone Woodfire Creations, Facebook.com forward slash Earth and Stone Woodfire Pizza. Then they have 256 572 9868. And email is uh, Stinson Stan at hotmail.com That's all it. that will be on the screen so they'll be able to see it all right guys thanks so much for coming in really appreciate it appreciate it. appreciate it all right well that was painless yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I like when people say stuff right then when we think we're done recording. I, I leave that on. <laughs> That's I, gonna be I do that every time. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs>